Hey, 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 hey! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Get Dirty with the Dirt Man. And we're doing a great recipe that we're going to do on the grills today, but you can also do in the oven. It is called Dirty Moink Balls. Wh what? Dirty Moink Balls? Why are they, are they called Moink Balls? Because you've got the moo pork and it's got beef, it's got pork. So you put the moink, oink, get it? I know, not so great. And the dirty part is obviously we're getting dirty with this. It's a great appetizer, great to have at, a, at an event, outdoor event. You can take it to a, a tailgate. This is just ground hamburger, ground pork, and uh, ground veal. Uh, if you can't find that, you know, you can just do a hamburger if you like. And the other thing you can do, and this original recipe started with frozen meatballs. So you can buy a frozen meatball from a grocery store. Whatever meatball recipe that you've had in the past, you can actually use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I cut open the, the uh, bacon. I'm gonna cut these in half. I think I'd get some sharp scissors here. All right, this is cut in half. Now we're gonna take the meat mixture and we're gonna put it right here in the bowl. And then I'm going to put a little indentation right here inside. I'm going to crack the egg. That right inside. And then we're going to put oh, a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of garlic. And we're going to take, oh, I'm putting a quarter cup of cheese in there. So I'm going to first mix this up really well because I'm going to split this thing up in half. So I'm not using any breadcrumbs in here, and there's a, a reason why is I'm on a low carb diet. I know it doesn't look like it, but I just started a low carb diet. So for all your, you know, the people who are doing Atkins and paleo and keto and all that kind of stuff, uh, there's no breadcrumbs in here. So the, che the, um, the cheese and the eggs will actually help with the binder. You want to make sure that the meat is really cold. So you want to make sure it's in the refrigerator so it'll hold together really well. So now I'm gonna get another bowl, I'm gonna split this in half, I'm gonna do half with the Salty Sailor, half with the Bayou. All right, so now I've split it up in two different bowls, and we're gonna take the Salty Sailor, we're gonna put about two tablespoons in there, about two tablespoons of the Bayou, and then we're gonna mix. Mix this in really well. All right, just think I've done washing my hands and we're mixing this up really well. Put a little bit more body dirt in. Just didn't put enough. And you mix. Okay, so now I'm gonna do about an ounce to an ounce and a half meatball here. I have found this little tea tool or a coffee tool. I'm really not exactly sure what it is. Um, but I found this really good, so if I put it right in there just like so, take it out, and then roll it up really nice, it comes out to be a perfect meatball. Yeah, look at that, put that right there, I'm going to do all these, and then I'll wrap them. I've done the last one. Came out about 28 uh, different uh, moink balls on here. Meat, or excuse me, meatballs. And then I'm gonna clean this up and then we're gonna start to the next step. All right, so now we get the bacon that's been half cut. And then we're just going to wrap the meatball all the way around it. Just like so. Put two thick in. And do the next one. Really simple and easy. It's not difficult at all, just a little time consuming, but well worth it. So this recipe was basically created. Uh, a lot of the major uh, uh, barbecue events, this was created just as an appetizer for people. It is absolutely fantastic. All right, we got the last one done. Look how beautiful that is. So now we're going to put a little bit more dirt on the outside of it. So this side is the Salty Sailor. Put a little bit right on top. Just adds a little extra flavor. 
and you can use any rub that you wanted to use. Uh, but Todd's Dirt, really, all the Todd's Dirt products work really amazing on Moink Balls. These are absolutely fantastic. Okay, now that we're done, we're gonna take this outside. We're gonna do it on the Weber and also on the Big Green Egg. We're gonna do indirect cooking at 375 for 30 minutes. You can also put them you do the oven at the same thing, 375, 30 minutes. And then we're gonna put some barbecue sauce on them and then, oh yeah, that's gonna be good. And we're gonna try it out. Meet you outside. Okay, now we're outside, we're in the Dirt Man's happy place. You know, anytime I'm grilling or barbecuing, the Dirt Man's happy. It is a beautiful sunny day out here, and let's get started. Oh my God, it ain't, it's sunny, but it's cold as heck out of here. What am I doing out here with the jacket? I'm going inside. Okay, so we're got the big green egg. We got it set at 375 over here. Come over and check this out. So you can see the top part over here, the, the daisy wheel is where we got it set at. Take it down here to the bottom. You can see where I got the opening. It is about 32 degrees today. It is cold. It is a cold day today. Uh, so that when you're using this big green egg, you gotta remember that uh, when it's cold outside, it's a little bit harder to set, but once you get it set, you're rolling. We're gonna do the salty sailor right here, and we're gonna put this right over the plate setter. at them now and they're gonna look beautiful when they're done all right let's go over here to do the Weber all right now we're on the Weber grill so yes we can do it on the Weber so what I have done and you can check over here I got this completely turned off I got this completely low this is on high so this is gonna handle all the heat right here so this is indirect cooking on a gas grill. All right, we're gonna put these away. We're gonna check on them in about 20 minutes just to see how they are. All right, let's check out these bad boys. So it's been 25 minutes exactly. One, so that's burnt this one, two, three. Let's open it up. Oh yeah, look how pretty those things look. I'm gonna put some barbecue sauce. And each one, get on all sides. All right, let's open this up. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how the barbecue sauce is just set up just perfectly. Oh, this is what you're looking for. Let's open these bad boys up. These are the Bayou and the Weber. Oh yeah. Look how beautiful those things look. Woo! Oh my goodness. All right, so just look how beautiful this thing is. Nice little bite size. Mm. Oh my God. Sweetness is what you get out of the gate, out of sauce. Then the bacon, and then the salty sailor, and the meatball come in. They're fantastic. I hope you really enjoyed those moink balls. They were absolutely fantastic. Subscribe, like our videos on YouTube. Check it, check us out on toddsdirt.com, our brand new website. It's absolutely fantastic. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram, all those things. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, it's always a good time to get dirty.